Yeah, I wanted to actually end the news there, but I just had to bring up the Jay Z thing because um, Glastonbury tickets for the first time in ten mm-hmm. years didn't mm-hmm. sell out. Mm-hmm. Yes, and a lot of people have been saying that is due to Jay-Z being the headliner on the Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Now, when I first heard the news about Jay-Z headlining, because I feel Jay-Z, to me, is trying to steal or bite Kanye's style, I said, said, you know what, screw him. Because I thought that Kanye would be a better fit. Yes, I totally agree. I agree. I agree. But But, but but. then, I was at work, and then I was reading all this stuff that people have been writing on BBC website about why Glastonbury didn't sell out. And a lot of people were making a lot of racial comments that, yeah, that he doesn't belong there. That he should, you know, go to London where the people like him. And that Glastonbury is a rock festival. Now, when Glastonbury started, it was meant to be anti-corporation. It was meant to be like where people just came and enjoyed music. Jimi Hendrix played, you know, you know the glass. Okay, people argue yeah he's rock, but he was black. It was nothing to do with his race or anything. People just came to play music. Even from time when John Peel was still alive, he used to just go to the world music tents and just talk about all these random like artists, artists and bands. It was just about the music. Well, but now that Glastonbury, in the last couple of you know, the last couple of years, they've become more corporate. They got HSBCs there now, all sorts of stuff. And now it's becoming with the whole indie and rock burst of 2005. That it's become more you know middle class white converse wearing hoodie wearing emo kids. Now they're saying that oh yeah, it's meant to be a rock festival. But look at it. Maybe Has if you're looking at it as anti corporate, I would say out of all genres of music. Hip hop is the most corporate. It People is the most corporate. Start their life thinking yeah. of yeah. how many blingy things <laughs> that <laughs> is. How sure. can I get getting um you know this bling or that bling or Jacob the jeweler. Oh, true, but, uh, yeah, but another thing is the fact that it's also the fact that I know that some things could be construed as racist or some things are racist. Mm-hmm. However, you've got to look at it this way. It's about how you embrace your audience. I do not see Jay Z as embracing all audiences regardless of their race. Kanye West, I would say, yeah, actually he does. does he appreciates every single member of the audience. So I think maybe that is the issue. And because it doesn't help that Jay-Z likes to say, well, I'm from the streets, I'm from the ghetto, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. And most kids who are going to go to Glastonbury cannot really, relate. They cannot relate to that. Sure. Because I'm a middle class kid. I can't relate to Jay-Z. I and can't. I happen to be, well, I have melanin. Okay. So, you, know, <laughs> you, know, you know what I think? You know what I think? I think that this thing about Glastonbury and the Live Nations relates. Because it seems that and this is just my opinion. It seems I like, judge Leo. <laughs> yeah, this seems that Jay Z's people are advertising him in a way that the common person doesn't see. They're trying to say so the corp- that oh he's corporate. he's sellable yes, and he transcends sellable race. And he transcends, yeah, he but, doesn't. but he, doesn't. He, in my opinion he doesn't. And only the reason why he doesn't, no offense to Jay Z's music, is that Jay Z's music and has he would testify in his own lyrics. He said that his songs were written for hustlers on the streets, right? So, and if you think about the hits that Jay Z has had in Europe, the it's been, it's been, it's, it is a, it one hit that was based off a film that Hard everybody knew, Hard of Life, yeah, Annie, and it's, it's called Annie, yeah, right? Annie. Everyone knows the film made in the sixties or something. Yeah. Now, everyone, I, I doubt many people are going to tell me, you know, the latest. Song that album, yeah. you have to like to a hip hop head. Oh, yeah, exactly. it's, do you know it's Beyonce that brought him into the mainstream? Yes, yes because uh, I We're think crazy her in love. Are really his profile. Yeah, Definitely. but look at what Kanye appreciates when it comes to music. He appreciates it, um, European music. Yes. When he did the whole dark yeah, thing, thing. Yes. I've he never loved really Franz seen, no, no, Exactly, not, yeah, I've never seen there's, there's Jay-Z no, do anything like even, that. He's no trying to. He got Chris Martin and his album. No, no, no. There's no even need to to even talk on his behalf because he's he's his discography. Speaks for itself, so. for Kanye. But with Jay Z, it's a bit more difficult. And other thing I, 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 I hate the racial remark yeah, that they made, it. but I can understand where they're coming, coming from. from. Yeah, although I think it's mislaid. Like, and mis- yeah, I think it's mislaid. Mis- it's lost in translation. Exactly. It can be lost in translation. Yeah. yeah, it's true. I agree. But, you know. I'm sorry. It just made me feel a bit weird. Anyway. <laughs> because you're a glass and brick chick. I hear thinking, oh my <laughs> god. Because remember when you went to a gig and you were asked, well, are you sure you're not supposed to go to the 50 Cent concert? Yes! I mean, I was, I know. I, oh, that was, that was at the Kentish Town Forum, by the way. And if you know the security guard there, he's a bloody freaking stereotypical racist. Anyways, can you imagine? Anyways, cool.